Today I'm gonna to run 5K using a pogo stick. Well, it's not really running, I guess, but the 5K is arguably the most family-friendly distance with thousands of races each year. Some people walk them and some people run them, but how long would it take to go that distance using a pogo stick? The first thing I gotta do is pretty much learn how to use a pogo stick. I gotta to learn to pogo. Is that how you use it in verb form, pogo? I'm gonna go out here and pogo. Okay. The fly bar velocity. Safety first, kids. Who am I kidding? I'm probably not gonna use this at all. My first thought is like, I lose my balance and my head goes straight into the garage back there and I could knock myself out. Okay. Aw, oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Man, this is tiring. After three days of very important training sessions, I am clearly not a pro or anything, but I, I think I can do three miles. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of hesitant right now. I, I don't, I think this is gonna take a lot longer than I, I am anticipating, but I mean, I'm, I'm here for it. Let's do it. I'm already up. It's Saturday morning. Let's go do this thing. You know those moments when you test out everything to make sure it's working so you don't end up having an issue? Well, I did that and the camera still didn't pick up a single second of my audio, so we're gonna pretend that my audio matches with this video for like five seconds. Welcome to the first parking lot pogo stick 5K. I at least think it's the first one. I mean, besides I couldn't find a 5K that would allow pogo sticks and I didn't wanna be in people's way, so that's why I'm by myself. Here are the rules. According to my Garmin watch, this loop right here is 0.13 miles, which means I have to go around this 24 times to achieve 3.1 miles, which is also a 5K. I have to remain on the pogo stick at all times, and if I fall off, I can't move forward. If I take a break, I can't stop my watch. And this is kind of the obvious, but I cannot cut any corners. But before I began, there was only one thing I had to do that any professional or amateur pogo stick person, athlete, whatever, would do. Safety first, kids, because you never know what might happen. I don't have anyone to give me a countdown, so I guess uh, I'm gonna do it myself. The first official Pogo Stick Parking Lot 5K begins in three, two, one. Oh gosh. <laughs> I'm on lap two. Well, I just completed lap two. And I had to take a break. Cause I, woo, I don't think I can do this. Like I really don't. Like the original title of this video was gonna be like, I ran, ran in quotations, uh, 5K on a pogo stick or using a pogo stick, whatever. But I'm gonna have to change, I can't even talk. Cold's got my mouth all numb. I'm gonna have to change it to, I tried running a 5K using a pogo stick. Cause I just gotta be honest. Don't wanna be a liar out there. Clearly three days was not enough for this. I don't know what I was thinking. It's not like you can, be a professional in anything in three days. You can't even be a beginner. I feel like I'm in one of those moments where like, you think something is easy and then you go do it and you're like, ah, oh, take a piece of this humble pie. Good thing is, I'm moving forward, baby. Let's get it. I really don't think I can do this. <clears throat> I have an announcement, everyone. This is now the 1.5K, wait, 2.5K, that's half. 1.55 miles, I can do that. Come on, really? You got this? That was lap three, and now that it's a 2.5K, <laughs> I like have some motivation now. I'm like, I'm feeling instant regret right now. But you know, mama ain't raised no <laughs> Water break. <sighs> Ain't nothing like H2O. Lap five complete. And honestly, I'm just hungry. I realized I didn't really eat anything. That's the only thing that's on my mind right now. It's just food. <laughs> Lap six. So the cool, well, it's not even really cool. It's just the interesting thing is that every lap, according to my watch, is take, take me between like, if I had to guess, like 14 and 16 minutes. Some people walk a mile in that time frame. 
This is literally 0.13 miles, like I said. So it's taking me that long. Yeah, assuming that each one's gonna get longer and longer, I, I don't know how. I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see what my final time will be. You want my honest opinion? Well, <laughs> I guess you always want my honest opinion. It's weird that people say that, I guess. I, I wanna go home. <laughs> That's I sound like a little kid, but I'm tired of this. I don't ever want to do this again. For all you people that are like, oh, you're you are not up for the challenge. You didn't complete the challenge. Not everybody's supposed to pass everything. Sometimes you fail in life, and that's okay. So take that and run with it. Or pogo with it. My quads and my hamstrings. Everything. It just hurts. I just did the math. And technically, I only need to do 11 and a half laps. And because I just finished lap 10, I'm gonna enjoy this nice last lap. So, I technically finished, but this is of lap 12. I was like, right there. I don't know how people have endurance to keep doing that. Man, I suck. <laughs> But that's okay though, because we're going to keep going. Oh, that was my ankle. Gosh, that hurt. All right, let's keep going. Oh, all right, come on, really. Like, you're like 10 feet away. Come on. It's, it's ridiculous. Hey, let's go. Oh. Take that. Fly bar, velocity, whatever. I'm sure it's a great brand and everything, but right now I'm done. Maybe I should take some pogo, stick lessons. I don't even know how to feel right now. According to my watch, that took me a whopping three hours, 16 minutes, and 37 seconds. I never want to do that again in my life. That also means if I went ahead and did the full attempt at a 5k which was 3.1 miles like i've mentioned many times that means it would have took me i can't really do quick math right now so here's the answer <laughs> I, I like literally feel just dead right now my legs just burn so much it's one of those things that like i feel like once i get walking i'll be fine but just the initial going it's just gonna it's gonna suck before i forget to say anything else i want to say thank you and don't forget the thumbs up bell and i hope you and the fam are doing well you know i just want to say when you challenge yourself to do something, even if you fail, the, the most important thing is that you still went out there and tried. So that's all I got to tell all y'all. That didn't make any sense. Goodbye now. Yeah. Sunday morning views quickly turns to afternoons. It's like that I can barely go and catch it. Kind of how I feel with you.